All right, we're good. We're live. We're out here. What is up, you guys? <laughs> Buzz, dude. Do they what? really start podcasts like this? Uh, yeah. That, that's how Joe Rogan will start his. Um, he'll, he'll just he'll be talking with whoever he has on, and then they'll be like, "Oh, and we're live," and he'll just be like. What's uh-huh. going on? And be like, what's going on, man? He's like, yeah. So just to, like to continue on what we we're talking about, and <laughs> it'll just it'll just roll like that. Just segue just perfectly right into it. Yeah, it's just they just start the podcast because he he'll have people come over and then like they'll just be talking and then they'll just start the podcast, which is really cool. That's why I like his podcast. It's just you know really been bugging me though. What like. Like it just seems like like just comment sections just recently they're just bothering so many so much like on YouTube like the comments are like they're positive they're funny they're cool and when I go over to like Twitter or Instagram or just like other platforms they're so political they're so negative like they're so controversial for like no reason just people are just arguing just arguing no one can agree on anything but then I come over to YouTube and everybody's like haha when a mosquito flies at two ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> i know exactly the type of comments you're talking about those ones that are like yeah, the timestamp oh, yeah the timestamp and then they'll be like freaking something a little detail in in the video yeah yeah or or you can't have any video with a girl in the thumbnail with like you know why we're here yeah for real <laughs> You are those times. I can't believe we've done this. I can't believe he said that or something like that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, man, I just got. I can't believe I played this game. <laughs> it just ends up being Minecraft or something like that, dude. Why is that resurfacing all of a sudden? Uh, Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, well, they have the um, uh, Minecraft Explorer or whatever. It's like a, it's like a Pokemon Go. But with I was just telling Sean about it last night. Um, it's like a Pokemon Go, but with Minecraft. So like you could be out, like let's say we go to the park mm-hmm. and we could just start building like something from Minecraft at the park, really? and it's on our phones. Yeah, it's it's really cool. That's um, that's interesting actually. I honestly thought like maybe a resurface because like I know for like a little kind of a joke, uh, Ninja and uh, Mr. Beast uh, played a Fortnite um, Hunger Games tournament. And they both streamed it, and I got like Minecraft was definitely on the top of Twitch. And then uh, well, also, it. yeah also yeah pewdiepie has been playing it a little bit Hold on, i'm gonna and... commit a sin and move my mic while we're recording oh i just did that like not even five minutes ago but we weren't recording so you're you're cleansed oh oh, <laughs> oh. but yeah that that like pokemon go minecraft thing looks really dope uh i just don't i think it's still in like beta phase i don't think it's um i don't think it's like out yet but not everybody has it no okay. no i don't i don't yeah i, don't I was think like so. i've never seen it. about it yeah 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 because yeah, i've just, never heard about it until now it's just it's crazy because like M- minecraft what came out like 2006 2007 something i can look it up right now show you the reason pull it up <laughs> yeah pull, pull it up jamie yeah <laughs> <laughs> um 2011 no 2009 no, no way 2009. yeah 2000, okay yeah somewhere around there they're talking so, about the pocket edition for the release date <laughs> the what do you call it uh, the no, I think now it's, it's now it's 10 years old and it's still really relevant like that's that's how you know a game has been i think it's trying to say good. that like when it first barely beta came out that it was 2009 but then when it was like like this is the the full game or like this is done it's it was 2011 i think it's trying to say mm, okay but no it, it first definitely first came out 2009 yeah I'm not yeah i mean it to, to now be like as relevant as it is again is crazy and i know like i see like in my discord you know how you can see people playing games or like how it is on steam you can see people playing games mm-hmm. there's like two or three people that i always see still playing minecraft yeah um so it's crazy like how relevant it still is and you know like if you you, if you hop onto twitch right now some big streamer is playing minecraft right now or if you go on youtube some big youtuber who's never played minecraft is playing minecraft now yeah yeah it's weird we were talking there's really go ahead there's really not much to the game other than just building 
whatever like uh i saw a thumbnail for on when i was on youtube uh somebody had made like middle earth from the lord of the rings in Mm -hmm. minecraft yeah um but like your imagination is the limit but like there's not much to the game there's like really no like legit story with like quests um like there's nothing really to the game and i think that's why i stopped playing it is like you can build anything you want, but the perfectionist in me was never satisfied with whatever I built. <laughs> so I I don't know. I just never could continue with it. And it just didn't have enough substance for me to be like, this is a game I, I, th- I could see myself playing 10 years later. <laughs> I think, like, yeah, you got a point there. But I think, like, what makes it cool with the imagination part is that you can make your own story in your quest. Like, this one really cool channel... Um. N-O-D-E, I don't know how to pronounce it right, but like they did like a challenge where they they played Minecraft. They'd have, I think, a week in the Minecraft time. So like, you know, when a sun goes up and goes down in Minecraft, that's a day, right? And they would have like a week to uh, get to the, to to beat the Elder Dragon or whatever. And it was like, if you died, there's like seven of them or eight of them, like in one room playing Minecraft on their computers. And if like one of them died, then they would just spectate as a ghost while the others were harvesting. You know, they assigned one person was an architecture, one person hunt food, one person crafted weapons, one person was mining, one person was making, grabbing the materials to make the portal to go stuff. Like, it was it was really cool. Like, everybody had their own roles, everybody had their own story. They made their own objective and, like, their own rules to it. Yeah, they, they did that themselves, but how long how long can that last? You know, how, how, many, how many weeks can you guys get together and, and do that? You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like the longevity, I never saw it. So it's it's crazy to me that it's still like doing well. Could be that it's just such a meme. Maybe. Yeah. And it, you know, helps when someone like PewDiePie is playing it. Um, But it, I know it was still relevant before PewDiePie was doing his videos. Um, It just became more more of a meme once he started playing and then a lot has i guess because like maybe like how how you keep track of what's relevant uh-huh. like maybe a lot of people were starting to post like oh okay like let me show what i've been building and it's been getting more views cuz people are more interested yeah and like what's a car i remember i saw a post on twitter or whatever where uh, i think i don't know if you actually tweeted it out but i was like the the tweet with the most likes is the game that i'm going to play and so some did Guy said a Minecraft Let's Play, and then someone made a meme out of that, and then PewDiePie started playing Minecraft. So I think that was actually tweeted out, which started someone recommended Minecraft at his Twitter comments, and every like like thousands of people liked that comment, and then he started uploading videos on Minecraft recently. Hmm. Like I could probably find the Twitter to uh, the tweet right now. You know, bring it up. Pull it up, Jamie. Pull it up. Let me see. I gotta find the tweet though, because I think it might be old. Because Really sure Felix tweeted that. No, he doesn't tweet that, so it should be actually pretty easy to find. Uh, if it's legit, then I can see why he posted it, but like, I gotta, I'm trying to figure out like, when did the resurgence happen? How did it happen? Why is it happening? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Freaking. Get to the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Freaking, it's crazy how freaking how much uh Cyberpunk 2077 memes you're finding. Dude. It is I was just talking about this with my subscriber last night that like Cyberpunk is just huge. <laughs> it's so huge. Like the all the details that keep on coming out about it. Cause I had brought it up. We were talking about Ghost of Tsushima, and um I was telling him that I was telling my dad that I'm excited for both Ghost of Tsushima and Cyberpunk, like super excited, but for the total opposite reasons. Like Cyberpunk has all this stuff coming out with Keanu Reeves being in the game, all these details about what you can do in the game, how you can play the game, the life path choices you could take, how your gender affects your choices, like all this stuff that's coming out. And then Ghost of Tsushima is just feudal Japan, samurai, done. (laughs) What the fuck up? Yeah, like... It it just it's so crazy like and I can't I can't be more excited for for both games but Cyberpunk is is definitely if it was if like if I only had sixty dollars and I was looking at both games there'd be no question I'd, I'd I'd get Cyberpunk you know what I mean 
So, yeah, I'm, I'm really so. Well, actually, no, I'm not surprised because the only reason I said really is because like you make have have you made more ghost videos? Or, I think you made more cyber videos, right? More cyberpunk videos. No, I I've made more more ghost videos. Oh, okay. Yeah, I th I think so because I only the only cyberpunk videos I made were um how to prepare the two videos I made on that. Uh, did I make a why you should be excited? I th does it count if you said about the Witcher video? To about... yeah, that one that one counts. That one counts. Uh, the things I'd like to see in the what Witcher. What up, Jamie? Uh, in <laughs> in Cyberpunk. Um, I'm checking it right now. But I think I've I've only made like in total maybe four videos on Cyberpunk, whereas I've made like maybe six videos on Ghost. Bro, you got like two not how to prepare videos in your playlist right now. <laughs> what what are they? Uh, one of them is Joe Rogan's uh Joe Rogan Experience podcast with uh Michelle you, Waterson. And, you uh, already know, brother. And one is uh <laughs> ten movie ten movies that couldn't wait to spoil the ending. You already know that that's me. That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Joe um, Rogan in movies, man. Trying to see. Okay, so for Cyberpunk, I mean, so one. Damn, that is a lot of ghost videos in between the cyber video. Yeah. Two, three, I mean like three. Three cyberpunk videos? I think so. Yeah, it looks like three. Because you yeah. made like, how many videos for, you mean like, okay, so you mean like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you counting the truth behind as one? The truth behind, no. Okay, so eight and. I was going to say nine, but it's eight if you don't count that one. Yeah, I'm I wouldn't count that. Because that was more of like a channel. Like Update. me explaining my channel and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I only posted like six. So I'll, I'll have seven once I upload this uh, podcast with my subscriber. And then um, quick I'll question, have... Quick question. What? If, okay, so we know that there's going to be more celebrities in Cyberpunk. But if you could choose... One celebrity besides Keanu Reeves to be in there with him, who would it be? You already know who it would be. All right, all right. Pick another one besides that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, because that was mine too. <laughs> besides Kanye. Yeah, besides Kanye. <laughs> um, that's, damn, that's hard, right? Who? Because it, it's also about like who would fit and who would. Who would provide like something actually interesting, not yeah. just not just some celebrity being in there? Um, <laughs> That's a hard damn. one. I'm like, I'm just wondering because like, who else could they put in there? You know, puts yeah. uh, puts Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> John Bernthal's already in Ghost Recon. Um, that's that's really hard to to think of yeah i wouldn't want anyone that's been like in marvel just because like it would be like you'd expect them to make some sort of reference or something to their character you know yeah whereas keanu reeves every character that he plays is like the same person so it kind of plays into how he's johnny silverhand yeah man you got me stumped on that one Hey man, hey, hey, hey. That's what I do? Maybe, uh, maybe Joe Rogan. He's like I, a, I... <laughs> he's like a, he's like a, he's like a, uh, he's like a Howard Stern of the of the cyberpunk world. <laughs> I was Stern, fuck, dude. You know I've been wanting to try for a while now, not for a while, but for a little bit. Freaking, um, what's it called? Uh, Just Water. Oh, the the Will Smith and and Jaden Smith brand. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe you never saw that video they did together. That thing was hilarious. Oh my god! I know. I saw. I saw both the thumbnail for. I can't believe Jaden's twenty one or something like that. And then um that one, the why you can't work with family. I heard I that, gonna... that. We we talked about. Remember about his twenty first birthday or whatever. Yeah. 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 That that was cool. I like I said that that's pretty dope. Humbling experience. Mm -hmm. You might as well explain it that way anyone who's listening isn't like what yeah so like i i was i think i saw it on 
Snapchat or some other story that apparently that I, I haven't went to his channel or I, I haven't watched the 21 video, but I heard that uh, Jaden Smith, he spent his tw 21st birthday giving food to homeless people and kind of experiencing what it's like to be homeless while giving to others, which I thought was really cool. What you call an icon living? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that sounded that sounded pretty cool. Yeah, that's something. You know, all these all these other celebrities like to, you know, and, and maybe that was a sort of flex, I guess, if you think about it. But who well, knows? Giving maybe, everybody food? Maybe it was genuine. Huh? By well, giving everybody food? Yeah, because like I was just about to say, like all these all these other celebrities, they'll usually flex like, oh, I'm in the Bahamas or something for my 21st and like trying to trying to make everything so extravagant. Yeah. And maybe it could be a reverse flex. Maybe it was like, like, oh, look how much higher and 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 morally like mighty i am yeah um, i get what you're saying but but i i don't think so i think given like will smith's like you know uh career and and how cool he's been i would think that would carry over for his kids too yeah. um but i mean yeah you never know i i haven't met any of them i don't know their motivations and stuff um and any of the videos that i've seen where they look really cool and like a happy family that that could all be you know uh facade it could be a stage you, know. you know we ne yeah, yeah we never we never know it's not like we we spend an entire week with them and see how stuff is or whatever but like you know because uh, that that i've been telling my mom like i hate facebook and instagram pretty much any social media because anyone that you talk to they'll like then put something totally different on facebook like they could they could be having problems with you could have someone that's having problems with their marriage yeah and then on facebook they'll put oh just had a beautiful dinner with my husband and couldn't ask for anything better like what <laughs> you just talk about how you're about to divorce this guy for real <laughs> you just you over here you know oh, talk about how, how freaking perfect i think uh sorry to cut you off but i think i think i was on instagram i think kanye i think it was a quote from kanye he said that uh, in this generation, right, uh, people are too focused on looking successful than becoming successful. You know, I think I saw something like that, too, on Instagram. Um, yeah, we're we're more focused. Yeah, it was something I think m the one that I saw was rather than becoming it was being. So it was just a little different. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, that's true. Because then you also see those uh, pictures with like. Um, the dude uh, who uh, created uh, Alibaba, the Chinese like Amazon, you have um, uh, Mark. Um, oh, damn it. What's his name? Facebook. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos. And it's like it's like uh, 38 something like 300 something billion, like some some billion in one picture and no Gucci belt or like nothing uh, in the at all in the picture. But I was thinking about when like, I see those, it's like the people that make that post, what are they like, you know? The, like, the the people that are making the posts of it's it's more about being successful rather than portraying yourself as successful. Yeah. Yeah. Like 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 yeah, I, I get the point of that, but like what if someone what if someone generally just wants to wear that? Not even a flex, like, oh snap, I really like this, you know. What if I you know I look good, I feel good, you know? What if someone just wants to wear it, not to flex it, but like, hey, I really like this. I wanna wear this. Uh, when I wear this, I feel better about myself because you know, I'm like I bought this with something I accomplished it. You know, it's not my main goal, but like hey, if I have enough money I can buy it twice, just like uh I think it was Jay Z that said that then why not, you know? And like I think people take out of context, like with like Keanu Reeves, like oh he's so humble, he takes his subway. They make it seem like he takes his subway every damn day. It's like no, this dude has a motorcycle collection, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he has his own business and he has several prized motorcycles. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. That again, that that plays into like what we were saying about like Will and and his family. Like we we can't really know because everything that we see is is forced perspective you know we don't see that day-to-day 100 percent. we see that we see that video of keanu giving his seat to the lady on the subway but we don't see keanu every single day and all the choices that he makes you know be man spreading for all we know 
Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could be totally mansplaining. He could be, you know, patronizing. He could. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's just it's crazy because then you get then you get the the stuff where it's like one one bad thing comes out on a person and it taints their whole career and and it might not even be true. That's I hate that so much. Like it's like that's 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 not even like how it's always been. That's just how it is now with social media. Like, yeah, I guess because like. People can't like takes like opinions for themselves once they read something that's true. Like now, like when I read such motivation, like when I read motivational posts or when I read anything on Instagram, I have to double check and see if that makes sense to me. Because sometimes the motivational stuff that I read nowadays makes literally no sense. Yeah. Like the one that made no sense to me is like I told you about this one where it's like one guy is walking. He has a he's a really buff guy. He has a really small head. And then the other guy has a really small body and a really big head. And the buff guy is like, oh, where are you, Rick? And he's like the library. And then um, he basically the guy's point of the post is saying, oh, you should, you know, working out doesn't matter. You know, library, blah, 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 more important. And then everybody in the comments, including myself, is like, no, what the heck? You should be reading. You should be, you should be educated. And you should take care of your body and be physically fit. You don't have to be like Arnold in his prime but like you should take care of your body and you should take care of your education size you're like how you are mental your um, mental well-being you know yeah but not even arnold was you know just a big stupid like no i'm not saying smart that. as hell i know i'm not saying like, that i'm just saying saying like so, body wise you know yeah yeah and that's what i'm saying like Ar- like arnold is an example of like what you're saying like he educated himself and he pushed his body to an extreme and he showed that it's possible mm-hmm. you know and like even Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, he he's constantly working out. He's constantly pushing his body and he's smart as hell, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I'm I'm probably one of those people that focuses more on education than than, you know, my body. But doesn't go to school. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I but I read and stuff and Spider-Man books. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like. I'm pretty. I'm pretty up there. I, I. I. I have some knowledge. I need to do better on my reading. I don't read at all. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, you're right. I. I read Spider Man books and stuff like that. Like, but I think. I. I read. And. I'm transitioning into a point where I'm. I'm getting into more. Like I. I'm reading that samurai book, um, which talks about like the history of of samurai and stuff like that, um. So I'm getting into more, more like actual educational stuff, but I, I'm still transitioning from like right now. I'm reading that Neuromancer book, which is um based on no, which Cyberpunk 2077 draws a lot of inspiration from. Mm-hmm. So that one I'm I'm reading to educate myself more on that world. That way, if I en- end up making any more videos on it, I could I could talk more about like certain things that could be implemented and we could possibly see since that book is such an inspiration because the person who uh drew, drew the he illustrated the Brazilian cover the one that i use for my youtube icon mm-hmm. he uh they commissioned him to do artwork of the gangs that are in the game for yeah. the collector's edition steelbooks so it was really cool the way that they tied that in so it was like obvious like yeah they're they're definitely drawing inspiration from a lot of stuff like that and uh that that's mainly what I read for. I I would love to read more of like that book that I, I let you borrow the the crushing it no. and and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, to educate myself more on stuff like that. But yeah, I I, I mainly read fiction. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, like five plus four equals nine. Three plus six equals you know nine. You know, you know, if you want to read fictional books, it's probably better than not reading at all. You know. Yeah, I mean, because I have an excellent vocabulary from reading. Um, it, it, I may not have fate. <laughs> <laughs> he only yeah. uses his exp- he only uses he only uses expanded vocabulary when it's absolutely necessary for him to win an argument that he's already losing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even start, bro. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll use a general word, and you'll be like, "What do I mean?" <laughs> no, mediums <laughs> is not a general word. Mediums is a general word. No one says that. <laughs> you asked everybody around you, no one knew what that meant. Because no one reads. Bruh! <laughs> I'm telling you, 
you have you have people in the comments section below tell you what mediums mean. They're just gonna Google it before they comment. True, true, <laughs> true. Then you'll have the few that are lying that'll be like, "No, I I knew it before I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> I binged it. I didn't. I didn't have to Google it." <laughs> No, but yeah, I mean, I, I have a pretty good vocabulary from reading. Um, I have good, uh, I don't know if it's contributed from reading, but like um, good like analyzation skills, like to be able to, um, like let's say we're reading directions for something and uh, you're like, wait, I don't understand. Um, how, how, do you, how would you say that? Like, what like Com not analyzation comprehension oh. comprehension skills like i can comprehend something um pretty well because of the reading and, and you could put big words and i'll be like oh okay yeah this yeah like, uh, you can just figure out the reference. like if you never heard it before you could still figure it out what it means yeah yeah so reading reading helps a lot with that but there's and another kanye quote that i saw on instagram where i was like like comprehension is more important than knowing or listening because you could it was something where like you could like oh it wasn't it, it was communication isn't key it's comprehension yeah you can communicate but if you can't comprehend it then there's there's no there's like you nothing. can't yeah yeah if you can't understand yeah. it there's no point yeah but like this is like a double-edged sword we're like sh shitting on the instagram comments and posts and then everyone's like, man that instagram post <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I mean yeah. i don't know instagram I, is weird you gotta be i i think on social media it's bad if you're not like careful and i mean like careful like you gotta when you reach something or when you see a post you gotta you gotta make it your own you know it's like you can't just read a motivational post or you what's definitely important you can't just read um what read a post on um something physical like what to eat or like what to do or what to work out and then just be like oh i'm gonna do that without doing your own research you know because some people can just be pulling shit out of their ass you know yeah i mean the the only person you can really trust is jeff cavalier jeff, Ca jeff cavalier athlete next jeff cavalier athlete next.com that's the only person you can trust do you so many physics so many smaller physical channels try to like shit on his channel really yeah <laughs> why i don't know <laughs> they just do it's like and then, like, they get a lot of shit for it because, like, when they try to prove them wrong, they're usually wrong. I mean, huh. I guess because, like, like, Jeff has, like, a really deep, um, he has a really broad education. Not broad, but he, he's really educated in terms of, like, um, word I'm looking for. I'm trying to think. Let's just say, let's just say he's really educated in like personal training and kinesiology in the human body, right? And then like he's yeah. really educated, he knows what he's talking about. But I guess he he makes videos about very simple movements. He doesn't make a lot of videos about like the compound movements, like like deadlifts or bench press. But it's more of the smaller stuff, the more of the simpler stuff that's easy to cover. It's like low risk, um, well, high reward for him. And then people, and then I guess he, he gets like shit for that. I was watching a video, um someone talking about that and i guess because he's blowing up talking about simple stuff and he's blowing up while people who have been doing it longer have like 10 percent of his success if you're counting subscriber count if I, I could have this wrong but like based on the video the watching like the numbers that i've been seeing that's that's how it's, that's how it is huh yeah it's weird i don't know i'm not a part of the fitness community drama <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't know about any of that. Um, there's this one, there's this one dude that I um, have seen a few of his videos. Uh, Joey Saves, I think his name is. I think I remember. Um, yeah, he he has like one of those where like he used to be pretty big and he lost a lot of weight, um, and he kind of makes some cool videos. It's just like he more so talks about like, oh yeah, I used to be big, now I'm thin. <laughs> So it's like, what was what was the process like and, and i think that's the thing that i struggle with with watching a lot of those videos like i latch on to watching those videos and learning about them but then i don't apply any of the stuff you know yeah so it, 
it's it's a it's a mental game that you have to play with yourself like yeah you can you can learn as much as you want but application is is a huge part of getting to where you want to be yeah and i I struggle with that a lot like gary v said like he was talking about like push-ups right he's like you can read uh as much as you want on push-ups but you're not gonna learn how to do a push-up until you actually do a damn push-up yeah exactly I think Speaking that... of push-ups, that push-up form when you came over, I'm just saying. <laughs> Sean, Sean was saying that my butt was too high. You're going to listen to Sean. I, 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 I don't know, man. <laughs> he was like, he was like your, your butt is either too high or you got a fat ass. And I was like, you already know what it is, brother. <laughs> but Don't let him take away from that. That was a good push-up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I told you I've been trying to work on my form. Let me tell you something. Just, Those four push-ups, even if your butt was just a little bit too high, is better than the zero push-ups he probably does. <laughs> yeah. You you know it's not gonna ruin you if your your butt didn't look too high. It looked like good push-up form. I mean the fact that you say that you're constantly working on it, you know, then if your butt's too high and you're constantly working on it, you're eventually gonna fix it. You know, it's not like you're gonna have a perfect push-up just instantly. You know. Yeah, and I mean you could. I mean you could definitely see the progress that i have from doing those all the way back from when i was when you came over and doing like zero and i couldn't yeah so yeah and like and i'm always and i'm always trying to do them (laughs) like yeah and like anywhere and i'm always trying to do them (laughs) like your arms like used to be like all the way to the side and i was like you're gonna hurt your shoulders and then you stopped doing that you started doing you got you figured out the arm angles and stuff and i was like all right okay yeah Yeah, i'm trying to do the the declines and the (laughs) I'm trying to do them everywhere. I started doing, was, <laughs> I started doing dude, nonsense. Like, that's like that's like we should uh we should do that as like a like one of those like challenges. You know those challenges that like those YouTubers will do where it's like, oh, uh, they have to say like a word and then they'll do something crazy, and they'll just be out in public and do it. It's just like that. That'll be ours. It's like you you just show up and you're like, all right. And I'm like, nah, man. He's like, nope. <laughs> it's just like, I gotta do <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you just never seen. No, wait. You You've never go, seen videos like that? We just go around and just doing push-ups around of nowhere. No, so like, um, the, it, it'll be like, like randomly, like I've seen it, like friends or like a, a couple. They'll just be out and about doing something, and at the most random time, they'll force them to like to do like a like a a, a, a weird thing. Like I remember, I saw one where like it was a couple, and I want to say she had the girl had said something. And he was like, no, not right now. And then he like he had to jump in like a fountain. <laughs> so it's just like True like that. weird like, stuff <laughs> that they had to do. So like if, if like we were chilling, like vlogging or something, you'd be like, all right, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is I gotta do push-ups. That'd be funny. You just try to talk to a girl. All right, Tony. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, I'm going in. Yeah, you about to go in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to do the push-ups. Fuck, that would suck. Man, dude, fuck. I want to start recording my workouts, but, like, it's kind of hard because, like, I'm pre- there's no way I'd be able to record it when I'm working out at football. It would have to be, like, times where, like, I work out outside of football. Well, I mean, you have an aspiring director that could record your uh, practices. But I have an aspiring director that wants to wait five years when we have stable jobs, wives, and kids to work on it. An aspiring director that has to forget his camera and his lavalier microphones at home. <laughs> that too. You didn't see it right now, but I'm putting up the symbol. Put <laughs> Public relations. Public relations. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Yeah, why didn't you ring that, bro? We could have started been working on our project, bro. We got we, we got a project. I'm not gonna say the name, but it starts with it starts with a, it's a, it's a mafia project. That's all you gotta know. But like special yeah i i think that one would be would be really good to do because it could be low production we don't have to worry about it as much as as 21 and uh it could be funny like we could really have fun doing that one (laughs) what do you mean what what do you mean what do you mean what 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 do you mean (laughs) <laughs> oh my god i need to freaking make a screen for that or something that could be so funny with the the soundtracks that i found oh my gosh uh well we have to be careful about copyright for that um uh... 
probably. I mean, if, probably. We're, if, if we upload it to your channel and you're trying to get paid, then yeah. But if we don't care about getting paid, then no. If we don't care about getting that sh money. No, that's what I was that's what I was talking to my subscriber last night about is like uh in regards to my whole like stay hydrated, let them pass in peace and stuff. Uh, Cause I was talking to my grandfather about it and um he was like, No, why why don't you do the whole subscribe and and like and comment? And I was like, Because he wants I, to make his life harder. <laughs> I was like, No, I don't like that. I like it's more gratifying when I have someone that subscribes and supports me because they actually like the channel and they like what I do rather than me just forcing it because if I force it on them, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, can you please get me this check <laughs> at the end of the month? Like, and I, I don't like soon. that. Huh? Too soon. <laughs> what do you mean? I was referencing the video yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I just, I like, um, Crap, what were we talking about? Uh, the call to action with the subscribe. Yeah, so for if we're doing that video, the one that you're talking about, my only uh, concern wouldn't be the monetization. It would be getting striked. Um, just because, you know, that, that could affect my channel. I mean, when you think about it, we just got to look back at that one video, the guy with the backpack or whatever, and, like, he was using the same... He was using a sound track straight from the show, you know? Oh, he was. Yeah, that was. There was nothing changed oh, okay. about it. But we, I could do some more research about it because what we can first do is upload it unlisted and see if what YouTube does to it, then change it up. You know, because the copyright system has changed now. You know, it's not automatic anymore. They have to manually watch the video now and then like put a manual timestamp and everything, and so tell us exactly what's copyrighted. And if they can't, if they're not willing to manually put where the where the copyright is, and then they can't do shit. Wow, really? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, it happened like a week or two ago. Huh. Pull it up, Jamie. Pull it up, Jamie. Yeah, I'll show you right now. I'll, I'll link it to you. Um, yeah, everybody was like, oh my god, YouTube's doing something for us? What the hell? <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna have to find it, though, because, like... A lot. Maybe it's taking it off, taking it off. <laughs> Dude, I hate freaking political shit so much. Like, when it doesn't have to do with political stuff. Like, when people just make anything political. Mm. That shit bugs me. It's like, oh, soccer. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I was like, why? <laughs> Fudge, I can't find it. I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious! I cannot find it. I'm the worst Jamie ever. The worst Jamie ever? No, you're the best Jamie ever. Thanks, boss. That's why I just found it. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I'd be be I'd be beautiful. <laughs> All right, what were we talking about? Uh oh the, God, the, the YouTube the, yeah. the copyright how it has to be manual and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, dude, like man, I wanna make I wanna make freaking workout montages. I wanna make freaking I wanna make skits dude. Like that Minecraft one was like not scripted, super low budget and terrible, but like oh my god, it was fun. That shit was funny to record. I don't know if the video came out as funny as it was to record it but because i wanted to like take time i wanted to have a script for it i wanted like to be planned yeah. you know i was like Dude. but sean's sean's ad-libbing was just off the chain <laughs> it was perfect dude. it was like man an over the top anime came in it <laughs> yeah yeah uh hopefully hopefully with um the lavalier microphones it'll it'll make it easier to do stuff like that that way the audio is clear and then yeah i'll just like a storyboard and stuff like i actually want to see how it is if we make like a like a script it doesn't even have to be a strict script but like well, what's the vision and like how we want the dialogue and like the story to go you know yeah yeah so, i could i could start working on one for the uh the mafia video we literally have a microphone like just a matter of like hey that's filmed from Friday literally through Sunday. I just don't. 
are we are we going to be strict on like any sort of costuming? Because like, costuming? I would assume for a mafia, wouldn't we have to wear suits or like not even oh, suits, man. but like not even just like. And if it wasn't suits, like when we were casual, like you know, like the whole get up for like casual, like freaking like how um freaking that one dude freaking how they looked in um Green Book, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I mean? I don't know what their clothes are called, but you get what I mean? Like, what was it around, like, the 19, what, 1960s? Yeah, 1960s kind of get up, you know? Yeah. All right. I'll have to see what I could do, because I don't really dress like that. So I'll have to, I'll have to probably find, like, a, like, a white button-up shirt. I get have a button-up shirts. <laughs> I already have button-up shirts. I'm uh, covered on that. Like I got buttoned up shirts it? and ties. The like wife beater tank top. <laughs> yeah, for real, those would be cheap. <laughs> the I need to get one of those like little like uh thin gold chains. <laughs> for her, oh, what else? What, you guys, we need some sunglasses too. We need um the toothpicks that you get from restaurants. Oh yeah. <laughs> See those? Oh my god! I gotta have the whole get. We gotta get fake. Someone has to have a pack of fake cigarettes on them. No, a cigar. A fake cigar. Fake cigar always in their mouth. Yeah. Oh, dude. Freaking. We got someone you thought. Oh, my God, dude. We got to go. Ah. So, for yeah, everyone listening, we have something planned. So, stay stay tuned to the, to Mortal Men. We're going to commit to this project. We got to do it. We got to show that we yeah. can finish a project or we're not going to get anywhere. Like, if we can yeah. never finish a project, then, like, that's kind of sucks. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll I'll get to work on a script for this. Um, and uh, yeah, and that, while we, we're filming this, we could also do our Green Book parody. It would be perfect just while we're filming it. Oh yeah, because the whole like get up, the freaking yeah. environment. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it would be definitely be freaking perfect. Just like what's it called? Uh, Knock two birds with one stone. Yeah, and also freaking tell me what what you need help with during the script. Your bitch is like, you're not helping me. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, what do you want me to help? No, you don't, you don't want to help me. I'm, hey, Tony, you need no. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. You think that's about it? That's that's probably about it. What do we even call this podcast? Just the the sit down, a mortal portal, keeping it real with the blind prophet. The title is just the title of the podcast is a mortal portal. Just uh, just. Uh, yeah, I guys keep it a gamers podcast. Screw it, we're gamers. It makes sense, you know. But we didn't even really talk about games other than like Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk Ghost of Tsushima. And Don't at me. Ghost of Tsushima and at Mortal Men. See the that's just just the hell. Who's trying to FaceTime me? Probably your girlfriend, man. No, I don't have a girlfriend. And this is a <laughs> random number. Who the fuck is it? <laughs> Answer it. No. Nah, negative. Who the hell is this? Sandra, bro. Bro, this is not even. No, what the fuck. <laughs> Weird ass. Weird ass. <laughs> Who did? I'm at the message. Who is this? I'm gonna put a new phone. Who this? New phone. <laughs> <laughs> new phone is this? Mark, stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> bro I, when you said when you said freaking answer it my finger was like the, the quickest like minute like slide off the screen i was like no <laughs> <laughs> bro who is this 310 number though i don't know who this is 310 yeah oh they messaged back little nathan that was little nathan You have like a cousin or football teammate or no? Well, someone named Nathan. My cousin's named Nathan, but little Nathan. All right, I'm gonna answer this. You ready? Yeah. Yo, Nathan. It's me and I wonder if this a belong here for some reason. I'm not gonna say why. <laughs> why not? <laughs> particular reason. 
very particular reason, I think. I'm not sure though. I really don't know what he's talking about. 